In this video, we want to highlight the various improvements to the support structure generation that were made with the 2022 release of NetFab. First up is the new upskin projection feature, which lets you pick an upskin to project the support to in order to reduce the support volume by not having the support go all the way down to the platform. To use this feature, select your created support and choose the upskin projection option. Now, you can either mark the upskin manually using a brush tool or you can use the upskin analysis for automatic recognition of suitable faces. Click on project so that the support structure is projected to the selected upskin. For bar supports, you also have the possibility to pick between organic branching, which generates three like structures, or the new smart branching. The next improvement allows you to project volume supports along a spline. This can be particularly helpful for avoiding part-to-part -part support or angling a support structure through a conformal cooling channel. To benefit from this enhancement, create a volume support and edit it. Change the projection type to along a spline. Now you can adjust the points by dragging them to create a spline that the supports can follow. You can also add new points to the axis to change the trajectory. The 2022 release also introduces a slight change to the delete support script. With this new script action, you can delete all supports above or below a certain Z value. This will help you to generate different support types based on the Z height of the build. For example, you could define different supports closer to the build plate to ensure a better connection to the platform. To use this function, Simply add the delete support action to your script and define the Z value. Upon recreating the supports, you can see how the bottom half was deleted, which allows you to generate automatic or manual supports to this region. The next improvement allows you to apply a certain support structure to all copies of a given part. By using this new capability, you can generate the support structure for one part and replicate it with ease to all the other copies of the same part that are arranged on the build plate even if they have a different Z orientation so that the build job is efficiently nested.